everyone and welcome back it's your girl marquita with marquita lv luxury on today i will discuss a couple of things i want you guys to know and for all the questions on if i use apple guard on my vachetta so guys just stick around but before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here don't forget to visit your girl on instagram at marquita lv luxury now that we have all that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. I want to give a huge shout out to Through the Look in Glass. I hope I am seeing your Instagram handle correct, Through the Look in Glass. I did ask me a question in my stories and she told me she knows my entire YouTube intro. I think that is so funny, so dope. I never thought that would be something that's catchy. So I do appreciate the support and the love. So big shout out, Through the Look in Glass. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have a few things that I want to discuss. First, I want to discuss my updated experience with Chanel. Guys, I have spoke with them and I wasn't going to even share this or go into any details, but so many of you guys are asking, will I give Chanel a second chance? Of course, yes, I most definitely will. I did speak to the guy that I originally met. I did do a video on this. The entire story that I went into Chanel, I had a great experience with the CS. Um, customer support, I'm not sure what you guys use, if it's still an essay with Chanel, but I did have a great experience with him. A bag that I wanted was not in stock. And so he told me as soon as it comes in, he will let me know and I can go in and I can purchase it because of course this would be my first purchase from Chanel. I want to go in and have the whole entire experience. And of course, I was going to vlog for you guys as well. And so once I went inside, he did take me around. I mean, I had the best experience. He took my information, set me up an account. Once I got home, I received an email and text message. But this is where the problem came in. When it was time for me to actually get the bag, the bag came in. He went on vacation and actually sent my information to another essay that was there. And that's where it went all wrong. His approach, his text message. I mean, only thing he did was send me an invoice. Hey, you have this amount of time to pay because this bag is very popular and we have other people, you know, that's interested in the bag. I'm like, hold on, wait. <laughs> Long story short, I wanted to go in before just purchasing. This is my first time purchasing a Chanel bag. And so it's like he just restricted that from me. He took that option from me. Basically, hey, if you're not going to pay this invoice right now, next in line. And that was a no-go for me. That customer service is everything to me. I own multiple businesses and that's a no-go. And so <laughs> as stated, long story short, I denied it. I didn't want anything to do with them. Chanel, I was done. Well, <laughs> the first essay did reach back out to me and this is where it kind of um, upset me. He told me, I do apologize. So-and-so, I don't want to put any names out there. He did not know that you were Marquita LV Luxury. What does that have to do with anything? What does it have to do with anything? I don't care if I was Obama. I don't care if I was Beyonce. I don't care if I was, you know, someone on the streets, a homeless guy. I don't care if I was the janitor. I don't care if I was a principal. You treat the principal and the janitor the same. Money is green. Treat us the same same treat everybody the same give everyone the utmost respect and so that upset me i don't care like i don't care and so that actually um that actually upset me more he didn't know i was marquita lv luxury and so i mean that just left a bad taste in my mouth 
because like I said, everybody money is green. Everybody has debit cards, credit cards. You don't, you just don't know. And so for me, they just, like I said, it really upset me. I am not mad at Chanel, the company. Okay. There, I heard there are some amazing essays out there and I heard there are some that's kind of horrible. Sorry, my phone is going off. I heard some that's very, very horrible. But as for me, I want the utmost respect. I mean, I want to have the full experience. I don't care if I'm Melissa. I don't care if I'm George, Diane, Brenda. Treat me like you treat everyone else. I'm not asking to be a VIC for Chanel. I just wanted to come in and have the full experience and purchase my bag and leave. That was it. And so that is my update, guys. As stated, I am not upset with Chanel. I was upset with both of those essays, okay? Um, I know there's other essays that work in the Galleria. I don't mind speaking to another essay. I don't mind going to another state and purchasing Chanel. Just right now, Chanel is just not on my radar. And when I do think about purchasing Chanel again, I most definitely will do so. But to answer your question, Chanel most definitely will be a bag that I purchase. A bag from Chanel, I will purchase. Just right now, as stated, it's just not something that I'm looking for. Okay, so that is the update with Chanel. Again, I'm not upset with the entire company. I was just upset with how I was actually handled before and then also this time as well. You treat people the same. Okay, so done. That's it, guys. Everybody wants to know what happened. That's it. Nothing big. I'm over it. I'm happy. I'm loving my LV, YSL community, Fendi. I'm loving all of my other luxury, um, luxury fashion houses that I can shop at. And so I'm okay. Okay, so guys, let's get into the question that has been flooding my DMs. I did show you guys a quick story on how I took these little mini perfumes from LV. And as you guys can see, I have used some and others I have not touched at all. And let me show you what I actually use and what I have. This came from Amazon, guys, so I will leave the link. So many of you guys asked, and I didn't find the link because this is an old purchase, but going down, I think I purchased in 2021 or at the end of 2020 because I did have a run-in with a company, and I mean, the quality, I mean, it was horrible. I couldn't take the top off some of the itemizers, so here it is. Okay, and this is perfect for traveling. And I love having these in my mini pochette. As you guys can see, I just took it out of my mini pochette. It comes, I believe, with like 12 different colors, black, pink, purple. I mean, as stated, so many colors. And so this is how it actually comes, okay? And you can take this off. It's just a screw top. here and you put it in here and you put the top on but they do send you like this little funnel here and I showed you guys and you have to be careful because <laughs> the first time I tried this it wasted everywhere I mean I wasted so much of my fragrance and I was so so upset so I'm trying to be as careful as possible. And here's the funnel and you just put it here. And you just take this top off and you just pour it, guys. It's very, very simple. So if you do have these minis, if you do have these in your collection, if you are looking for um, an easier way to use these and as far as on the go, I think this is the best way. And it is TSA approved. So you can have this in your purse, no issues at all. And I love it as far as like day night, you know, when you're going out and about, you have it on, you don't have to bring your the whole fragrance. You don't have to bring this and have it in your bag. You can just take this and it works perfect, okay? So just take this out. 
and put the top on. And here it is. And I just put this in my mini pochette with my hand lotion, lip chow, and my hand sanitizer. Goes in perfect. And here it is. On the go. Okay, so I hope that answered the question. And again, I will leave the link in the description box. So many companies sell sell these guys. Just be careful. Um, like I said, I had two actually bad run-ins. One of them, I didn't even receive the funnel. And so that's going to make it very, very hard. So just follow the link. And if you guys want to purchase, go ahead, be my guest. Okay, moving on, we are going to talk about Apple Guard and if I spray my Vachetta. Guys, yes, on certain bags, I believe it was the Demir Azure No ABB, but that bag now has recently sold and Apple Guard works perfect. No issues, no water stains. It was perfect, guys. I had no issues at all. So for those that ask me why am I afraid to um why i'm afraid of a shutter for some reason it's only on this bag the pochette matisse it's only this bag like i have other bags that have a shutter and i have apple guard here and i don't even spray it i don't i just get my bags and when i wear them i wear them i take very very good care of my bags once i wear them i put them back on the shelf but for this bag, <laughs> I am so afraid and I don't know why. It's only the top handle and right here, this tab here. I just, I just couldn't do it. And it was actually my first time bringing her out on Sunday. And I was like, okay, I took her down. As you guys can see, the plastic is still on the hardware. I took her down, I grabbed the handle and I was like, I don't know why it freaked me out, guys. I have other bags with Vachetta, but for some reason, it freaked me out. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to try it. I wrapped the scarf around and I was like, I wish I could protect this tail here, but I couldn't. And this is how I wore it on Sunday. And it was so, so beautiful. I love a steel top handle. You guys know this. And the bandeau was perfect. And of course, it comes with a monogram strap. So I didn't have to worry about the Vachetta there. And it looks great. Also, it's carrying as a tote. So I'm not afraid of the other bags. It's just something about this. And it could have just been, it's my first time bringing her out. And guess what? On Sunday, it rained all day in Houston, Texas, guys. So I had her protected. I did the top handle. And so I honestly, had to wait because I didn't want any water damage or any stains on this bag and everything is in new condition, just like it was guys when I first originally bought this bag. And so I honestly just have like a new love for the Pochette Matisse. I don't know what it is. I mean, the Passy bag and the Pochette Matisse are wonderful bags to have in your collection. When I tell you they can be dressed up or dressed down, guys, you have to try these bags. And so I highly, highly rate the Pochette Matisse A10. Now, after carrying it out, I am happy with this purchase. So put those bandos to use, guys. Put them at on the top handles. You will absolutely love the look. And it's just, it's just bossy. It's just cute to me. I love it. And so I changed out of this bag. You're gonna laugh back into the other bag. <laughs> of course, the reverse monogram. This is what I carry today. And of course, we know the black top handle is black, but the bandeau just looks so cute. And so I tied a bandeau around and it just gives it just so cute. And I love, love, love the reverse monogram strap. So cute with the bandeau guys put those bandos to use put them to use on these top handles and so yes guys the pochette matisse most definitely is a bag you need in your collection whether it's just the monogram or the reverse monogram make sure you get your hands on one of the bags 
I also um, love it in the black umprunt leather as well. I have this also in the rose ballerine pink too. But I haven't, I have worn a bag, I think once or twice. Yes, I've worn that bag once or twice. But it is up in my collection. But again, put those bandos to use on these beautiful pochette Matisse bags. Okay, guys. So, I want to discuss with you guys because you guys are flooding my DMs. I am almost sold out of bags I was actually going to sell. As of right now, the mini pochettes that I had available are sold. They are sold out. The card holders, the wallets, those are sold out. The only bags at this time that I have available is the, let me show you, is the Neverfull. Okay, here it is. And guys, you can reach me via email or you can reach out to me on Instagram via DM. It does come with the pochette, the pouch inside. Of course, brand new. I've worn this one time and this is from the LV Times League of Legends. I have actually said this bag was sold two times. You guys are still contacting me asking for invoices or having me hold the bag and you know me big heart i hold the bag and then you ghost or hey i thought about it i don't want the bag anymore so guys no more holding bags if you are ready to purchase please contact me via email or via dm on instagram first come first serves no holds brand new condition no damage nothing to this bag and then also, I can't believe this bag is still here. <laughs> this is the Neo Noe MM. The inside is uh, saffron. As you guys can see, the strap is the same color as well. Again, guys, no hold, brand new. You can contact me, marquitalvluxury at gmail.com or via DM at Marquita LB Luxury. This bag was made in France. And here it is here. Okay. And the last bag that I cannot believe that is still available. I was so shocked and as stated, multiple failed payment attempts on this bag. And I was like, you know what? It's meant for me to keep this bag. So guys, I am not selling this bag anymore. I am going to keep it. I took the Vachetta strap off and I fell in love. And here it is, the Monogram Noe BB. I am going to keep this in my collection. I just feel like it was meant to be. This bag has been strong along. I mean, for the past two weeks, so many failed attempts, so many holds, so many, hey, I have to put my money in my account. I'll contact you tomorrow. I mean, no. I mean, I have said this bag was sold so many times and I'm not going to do that anymore. So no more holes, no more waiting. And it's no more waiting because I am going to keep this bag. I am going to keep it and I am going to give it a try. Brand new, never worn. I just took the Vachetta strap off. It does have a lot of Vachetta. As you guys can see, the entire base is Vachetta. So you have to be careful I don't know why LV done this. At least put some gold hardware, hardware feet at the bottom. But as stated, I took the Vachetta strap off. I added the Pochette Matisse strap. And she's gorgeous. I am in love and I am so happy. <laughs> I am going to keep this bag in my collection. Look how she looks. I'm telling you guys, play with those straps and those bandos. Play with both of those items, guys. Do not just sit them in the closet and use them on the front of the bag or the front of the Neverfull. You just tie them in a bow. You can use them as straps. You can use them as belts. I have a video that I did, I believe it was in 20, 2020. I actually put a bando in between each hole here and I tied it at the front. So you can be creative with those bandos and also the straps. 
just because this is a pochette matisse strap doesn't mean that i cannot use it on other bags and as you guys can see i love this monogram strap and it just brings out so much in this bag and i cut the pochette strap i just cut it out and that was actually my problem so i am so thankful i am keeping this bag in my collection so no more emails about this bag because i am going to go ahead and keep it i did show you the bags that i am going to sell that is it until i look around because like i said i do have more bags in another room i have basically eliminated most of my never fools i am so thankful thank you guys to everyone that trusted me i have sent those items out i do send tracking thank you for letting me know you received the items and i just trust they are in their very good homes so thank you guys so much so as always, you guys know what we do. We chit chat in the comments. Until next time, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye-bye.